Hey you guys, so ignore my appearance. I've been working out in the garden, um, pulling lots of weeds before it gets super hot. But today is bottling day for kombucha, okay? Um, I'm to the point with my kombucha where I have a ton of SCOBY. I don't really wanna start another hotel right now. So I Googled different things that I can do with the leftover SCOBY, okay? I don't wanna discard it and just throw it away because there are so many benefits to the SCOBY. Okay, there's a lot, it's all a big colony of live bacteria that's really, really, really good for your gut. And a healthy gut means a healthy body. So today I am going to attempt to make dog treats out of the leftover scoby for my kombucha. My dog Remedy, she's a golden doodle. She just um, got spayed yesterday. So she's not been feeling good. She's right here, can you see her? There's my girl, you say hi. Rem, you say hi? Yeah. Okay, so uh, she got spayed, uh, was it yesterday? No, it was the day before, two days ago, okay? Um, so she's just not been feeling good. She needs a treat that's gonna be good for her tummy. Golden Doodles, if you have a Golden Doodle, you know they are notorious for tummy problems. And so I thought this would be really fun to try. Now, when I Googled it, you can do so many different things with your leftover SCOBY. You can use it as a face mask, I heard, which I'm interested to try. You can um, put it in smoothies or juices to add some good live cultures to that. It's, and I read it will be like a little tangy. So those are lots of things that I wanna try later this summer. But today we are gonna take care of Remedy Rosebud, our little golden doodle. So we're going to make those dog treats. If it doesn't turn out, okay, but she eats anything. So I'm hoping she likes it. So bear with me with my camera angles. I'm gonna try to show you everything that I've got going on, okay? So this is, can you see that? This is my kombucha, okay? It's about two gallons. And I had, this was all the way down to here, that scoby right there, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I have clean hands. I am going to take the scoby out. I'm gonna keep this one for later for my next batch. And it's kind of just falling apart in my hand. Okay, that one is gonna be left for later for my next batch. I want this big chunk and it's really slimy. Again, my hands are clean. Okay, so this big guy right here. Oh, you see that? He is huge. He's so huge. Okay, oh, it's stuck together. Do you see that? Okay, so we're gonna make a mess, but that's okay. We're gonna bring it over here onto the paper towel, okay? This is the little guy that I wanna use for my start for later, my next batch. See, I've got my black organic tea and my green tea with matcha in there for my next batch of kombucha after I bottle today. Okay, so this is the SCOBY that we're gonna use. All right, I'm gonna put it over here on my cutting board and I've got my knife, okay? Can you see that? Okay, and remember, bear with me. All right, so I'm gonna cut this and it cuts just like a chicken breast, okay? So it's really slimy. Oh, do you see that part right there? If it grosses you out, sorry, but it's so good for you. So I've gone beyond the gross out phase and it kind of makes me excited every time I see it because I know the benefits are so good. And I want my doggy to get those benefits. So again, I'm just cutting these in about half an inch to an inch thick. Get it real good. Again, it is like a really rough chicken breast, okay? So you see that right there? That's one piece. Here is the next piece, it's just getting stuck together, so I'm just gonna pull it right there. And then this is already naturally coming apart, so I'm gonna use this as another piece, okay? I know it is gross looking, but if you are watching this, it means that you have leftover SCOBY for your kombucha or your starting kombucha, so I don't think you're really gonna judge me much because you've either experienced it yourself or you're getting into it, so you're going to experience it eventually. All right, so it's a little rough cutting it with one hand, but I'm using my phone right now. So, ah, when I cut the other piece, it was really easy because I had both hands to work with. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna use my fingers to break that up the rest of the way. And this is what we're gonna do. Oh, this one's gonna be nice and big for remedy. That one won't, just won't come apart. Okay, so here we go. I have my Ninja Instapot, 
and I already put some of the SCOBY in there. You see that? So again, it just looks like little pieces of chicken breast. Isn't that weird? Okay, so I'm gonna put my rack in there on top and I'm gonna do two layers. I was just gonna do small batches at a time, but then I saw it takes six hours to dehydrate. That's a little nutty. So we're gonna do it all at once. And if it doesn't work out, you know, I learn for next time. If she doesn't like it, I learn for next time, but that's okay. So I'm putting all those in there. Put that right in there. And then this one, it's funky looking, but again, dogs don't care. So we're just gonna slide that right over there, okay? So I have two levels in it, and we're gonna close the lid. Closing the lid. My hands are so gross. I'm gonna hit start, or power. I'm gonna hit dehydrate, 150, six hours, start. The great thing about the dehydrator is you can open it and look inside and it stops, okay? And then when you close it, oh, it just keeps going, okay? So I'm going to keep my eye on that today. I'm gonna to see how it goes. And then later on, I will do a part two to let you know how it goes, okay? Um, I've got my kombucha bottle sanitized and ready to go. And we're gonna be bottling some peach blossom kombucha today. But you see my two gallon container right here, I still have plenty of SCOBY left to do that, okay? And look, that one's already starting to fall apart. So I'll probably be able to do something else fun in the next 10 days or so with that. All right, so we will talk to you later. Sorry if this was gross for you, but again, if you're watching it, you probably have some booch of your own. All right, so I'm excited for Remedy to try these and see how she likes it. Take care.